hey guys it's jen welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video i thought i would vlog today and just take you with me on my day but it is early in the morning so i gotta get ready uh fun fact adam had to run an errand this morning and brought me back a coffee best husband ever i don't know about that but <laughs> i'm kidding uh i always appreciate it when he does that because uh i can never never have too much coffee well maybe you can i don't know what that's like but i'm gonna go ahead and get ready uh really quick and then i'm going to get to work to, for today but i'll take you with me along my day and i have a few things i want to get done around the house tonight and then i'm trying to decide if we are going to do our normal uh pizza night tonight if we're gonna order pizza if i'm gonna make pizza at home if i'm gonna make something different so we'll see i haven't decided yet <laughs> All right, so I didn't even really put on much makeup today, but that's fine. We're going minimal, but I did uh, get dressed, put some earrings on, put some lip gloss on. So I am going to get to work. I have five and a half hours of uh, calls slash meetings slash whatever today. So I'm going to get through that and I'll check in with you later. So after a fun filled morning of working and conference calls, it was time to make lunch. So I decided to throw together a super quick pad thai today. I had all of the things sort of like ready. All I had to do was chop the veggies and it sounded really good on this day. So that's what I did. So I'm chopping up a red bell pepper here just into some strips. Um, that was in my refrigerator and I thought it was a perfect use for it. I also chopped up a little bit of red onion that I had in the refrigerator. This is a great way to use up all those scraps of veggies that you may have <laughs> laying in there. And next I heated up a nonstick skillet with some avocado oil. And I'm just going to saute the veggies uh, before I add in the chicken and the noodles and the sauce. So I'm just sort of heating those through. I still want them to be a little bit crispy. I don't like super crispy veggies, uh, but I don't want them mushy either. And then for the carrots, so they would cook faster since I needed to get this done and get back to work, I decided to grate them. And this is uh, a good idea because they cook faster that way. So I'm putting those into the pan and I season these with a little bit of salt and pepper. I think I threw some garlic in there as well. Um, maybe some powdered ginger. I kind of just go by, by taste. I wasn't really following a recipe. And then this chicken that I had in the refrigerator was left over from some roast chicken breast that we had had a few nights previously and it was sort of a neutral flavor so this was the perfect use for it. Obviously since the chicken was cooked I didn't have to cook it through I just had to heat it. These are the noodles I'm using. I believe I got these in an Imperfect Foods box and these are already cooked. You can see that I am smelling them. <laughs> They've been in my fridge for uh, a couple weeks and I just wanted to make sure they were still okay. I couldn't find an expiration date on them. Yes, they were fine. So I'm putting those into the skillet. I removed the veggies and I'm just adding those with a little bit of oil just to kind of heat them through and separate the noodles. Um, so I tossed those around with some tongs in the oil, um, like I said, just to kind of heat them through. They're already cooked, so basically you just have to heat them up um, and kind of saute them with the rest of the ingredients. I'm using this Yai's Thai Pad Thai sauce that I got from Thrive Market. So I put a little bit of that in there, slid in the cooked veggies and the chicken, and then I'm adding in the rest of the pad thai sauce, and I'm just going to kind of toss that around. Um, I tasted this for seasoning, and I believe I added maybe some red pepper flakes and some... Um, lime juice as well. So for the top, I actually have a mixture of some basil, some cilantro, and some green onions. So that's what I'm going to use to top it with. And then I'm also going to add some cashews to the top as well. I had to put a sweatshirt on earlier because I was freezing. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, I think it's supposed to be spring, but it's like 45 degrees outside, which is not really cold, but it's like colder than it's been. So. Here's what my pad thai turned out like. 
Uh, so these noodles are not really the correct noodles to use for pad thai. These are like shorter and wider, but they are rice noodles, so they still work. And then I should have had dry roasted peanuts to put on top, but I don't have any right now, so I just put dry roasted cashews on top, and it's good. It's really good. Adam makes fun of me, because every time I eat like pad thai or like noodles like this or something, I always use chopsticks, and he's like, you just think you're just trying to show off. And I'm like, no, it's just like, that goes with this type of food. It's the same thing when I eat sushi. I use chopsticks. <laughs> Are there any chopsticks? You don't need chopsticks. This is Thai food. Here we go. <laughs> Thailand has had the fork since the latter half of the 19th century. Interestingly, they don't actually put the fork in their mouth. They use it to put the food on a spoon, which then goes into their mouth. Ask him for a napkin. I dare you. So... This Yai's Thai Pad Thai sauce is really good. It's no sugar added, and I got it from Thrive Market. I think in some places you can get this Yai's Thai in the store, but I've never seen it around here. I would definitely recommend it, but yeah, this was like literally a 15-minute meal because all I had to do was chop up the veggies and throw them in the skillet. I already had cooked chicken, so I definitely recommend this. It's delicious. I think Adam says that because he... Has, he's never really learned how to use chopsticks. He has kind of a hard time using them. So I don't think I showed you on the camera either, but I also did squeeze some lime juice in here. And this is quite a bit of food. Adam's at work today. So I'm going to have leftovers, but that's fine. It heats up fine anyway. So I'm going to finish eating this, go back to work. I'll check in with you guys later. I think, I think I'm supposed to be getting an Imperfect Foods box delivered today, but I'm not sure if it's running late and I might get it tomorrow. Um, but if it does come today, I'll show you guys that later after work. All right, so it is currently 5.15, so I'm done with work. Although, I still have stuff to do on the computer. I could probably sit here all night on the computer and get stuff done, either for work or YouTube or <laughs> whatever. But look what came in the mail today. So I bought some new books for work. Very exciting. How to Lie with Charts. Have you guys ever seen this book before? Anyone that has ever been in like the data analytics side of things. Well, uh, I am working on a presentation for work about how to present data in a way that affects change. And so I wanted these couple books um, just so I could use as references for my presentation. And this one is Effective Data Visualization by Stephanie D.H. Evergreen. You guys are probably like, wow, okay, this is super exciting. Anyway, this one I really like because not only does it talk about the best ways to display data but it also gives you excel um, shortcuts too which i really like a lot of this stuff like i sort of know just from doing it for so many years but it's always nice to have a book just so you can give references and I don't know. There's always something. There's always something we can learn, right? So anyway, I'll link these books down below. Probably one person out of the people that watch me is interested. <laughs> Probably not. I wasn't, I wasn't quite sure if I was going to order pizza tonight, but we normally have pizza on Friday nights and Connor was like, are we going to have pizza tonight? It's like the, it's like the thing we do. So anyway, I did order that. So I just got on the Domino's app and ordered it. I was thinking about going to Dollar Tree just to kind of see what they have like for Easter and stuff. I haven't been there in a long time and I need to work on my kids' Easter baskets. I went to Aldi earlier this week and tried to find stuff for their Easter baskets, but a lot of it was just like, excuse me. A lot of it was just like little kid, like toddler stuff and my kids are not in that age range anymore, unfortunately. So uh, anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of the night. I know right now I need to go put some clothes in the um, dryer that were in the washer, so. Maybe I'll go do that. I don't know. I have a video I need to film. I should probably do that tonight and work on cleaning out some more of this office situation we got going on here. Since you guys have never seen Domino's Pizza before, I'm going to share with you what we got <laughs> tonight. So we got a thin crust with sausage and peppers and olives. Uh, I always get the kids pepperoni or cheese. I think on this night I got pepperoni. And then these Parmesan bread bites from Domino's are so good. If you've never tried them before, they're delicious. Well, you guys, it is 8 p.m. And where else am I going to go on a Friday night but Walmart? Yes. It's an exciting life we lead here. So 
I did talk about going to the Dollar Tree earlier, but I didn't really have a plan as to what I was gonna get there. I kinda just wanna look around. Oh, I said Easter basket stuff, didn't I? Yeah. So I actually do have some things that I need to get at Walmart. Adam is going to smoke a pork butt this weekend, I believe. He, we had gotten a couple of them like over the winter and put them in the uh, freezer. He was just telling me earlier this week that he wanted to take them out and smoke them. So he needs like apple juice and some different like seasonings, Worcestershire sauce. Do you guys know when I like started posting cooking content on my YouTube channel, I always used to say Worcestershire sauce because that's how I always thought you said it because that's how it's spelled. Apparently that is not how you say it. I cannot tell you how many comments I got about saying it, <laughs> saying it wrong. So funny. All right, so I'm here in the Easter slash spring section of Walmart. This is actually kind of cute. The spring tabletop decor. I don't know if I really need any home decor, but I did find a light up football for Connor's uh, Easter basket. And I'm sure my kids will still want me to fill up Easter eggs for them and hide them, even though I think the jig with the Easter bunny is, is up. <laughs> and here we have the juxtaposition of Jesus' birth and his resurrection. It's the Twilight Zone. These plates are so cute. My kids have grown out of this type of stuff now, but if I tried to get these for them, I'm sure they'd laugh me out of the house. But aren't they adorable? A little divided craze. 98 cents, that's a good deal. Oh my god, have you guys seen this stuff? Below deck Old Spice Powder Spray. Feel drier and cleaner down below. Shake, spray, fresh nuts. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Have you guys seen these before? Look how cute these are. Hand soap. They're like in aluminum bottles. You guys always ask me questions about where I get my Systema containers at and I don't know, you can find them at my Walmart. I'm not sure if they're available at all Walmarts, but I've gotten them before at TJ Maxx too is another place and of course you can get them on Amazon, but my Walmart actually has a pretty decent selection. I have, well, these are, I'm gonna actually get these. These are a good size. I don't have really anything similar to that right now. Look at this sexy outfit right here. This, it kind of looks like Carhartt's, like a Carhartt jumpsuit, don't you think? I'm into it. <laughs> is that is that in style now? I don't know, I'm out of it. The sad thing is, is that like the slide down into like adult uncoolness is very gradual. It's almost like the frog in the boiling water. Like you don't even notice it until you are the old uncool person and you have no idea what is popular anymore. <laughs> it's like, I've never felt this way before. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you guys a few things that I picked up from Walmart. I went ahead and split out the Easter items because I have kids running around somewhere, maybe. <laughs> And I'm actually going to show that I think in um, the next weekend prep video that you guys are going to see. I'll share with you what are in the kids Easter baskets. So that will be a separate video. What is in your basket Murphy? Treats. Okay. So I did decide to get this sign because I just, I don't know. I thought it was cute and I like how it's kind of tall. Um, so normally I do sort of like a little decor type deal situation on my front table and this is something that I can use on that so I liked on one side how it says choose kindness on the other side it says be our guest I cannot read that without singing <laughs> the beauty of the beast song I don't know about you I got some sour cream we are out of this and I have stuff to make tacos so I'm probably gonna do that at some point this weekend and I just want to make sure that we had sour cream for that um, I saw these in stock and these sometimes are in stock at my Walmart and sometimes not. These are the Dan and Light and Fit uh, Greek Crunch. So they have strawberry cheesecake and cookies and cream. And I like these, but also Connor really likes the flip, like the Chobani flip yogurts. But I've been trying not to buy them because they have a lot of added sugar. And these only have seven grams of added sugar per serving, which in my opinion, 
which is not worth much, um, is a little bit better than the Chobani Flips. So I got that. And then he really likes the yogurt smoothies too. Um, but even like the kids ones and sometimes the Lala ones and the Chobani ones have quite a bit of added sugar, but these actually have zero grams of added sugar. So I thought that was neat. These are the Danon light and fit strawberry banana, um, yogurt smoothies. He really likes these. He would probably, uh, drink one for breakfast every day <laughs> if I would let him, uh, with like eggs and toast or something like that. So I got those. Hopefully he likes them. I did also get some apple cider vinegar. Adam needed this for the barbecue pork. He also needed some apple juice for the barbecue pork and I didn't want to get like a huge jug of it and just have a huge jug of sugar water sitting in our fridge because I don't know, we just won't, we won't drink it and it'll go to waste. So I thought at least if I bought the little bottles, then he could just use what he needed and then save the rest for the next time he barbecues. He also needed uh, Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. However, they were all out, which is odd. They literally had none. So all they had was the generic kind. And funny story, I have literally never purchased generic Worcestershire sauce before. I know, right? It's goofy, but I never have. I just always bought Lee and Perrin's. So I got that for him. Okay, so as I was unloading the dishwasher the other night, I broke my coffee pot. I don't know how it broke. I went to grab it out of the rack and it just cracked. So this is allegedly a universal replacement carafe. So we're actually gonna test it right now and see if it fits. They didn't have a um, Hamilton Beach one, so we'll see. Well, it looks like it's gonna fit because I can tell that it's pushing up the little button thing under there, so cool. Well, that'll save me from having to order one on Amazon. Look, I need to clean my Keurig, it's gross, don't look at it. I guess it also comes with another lid with like a different height, so depending on the one that you need, you can use a different kind of lid, but cool. I'm glad that works, good to know. Uh, okay, I also got some uh, shave cream. I needed some of this, and this is new, I think. This is the Skintiment, they have kind of a new label. This one says it's a lemon, orange, and cedarwood scent, so I don't know, I thought that looked neat. Um, I also saw this notebook in the um, stationery section, and I don't know, like, I'm probably not going to write in this, but I walked past this and I was like, I wonder what this is all about. And my thought for this is that I can use this for scrapbooking prompts. So it's basically just like a bunch of prompts about your life, top 10, list of top 10 things that motivated you and got you excited. Did you have a childhood nemesis write about that dynamic? Describe a time when you got very angry with one or both of your parents. The scariest thing that ever happened to me was name an object from your childhood that you still own. Mm. I don't know. I just think these are interesting stories. So I know a lot of you guys that watch me. Um, our scrapbookers too. So I don't know. I recommend this maybe as like a story prompt thing. If you see it at Walmart, it was only eight bucks. So I thought that was kind of a good deal. Uh, okay. So everyone says that you need to get men's razors, um, to shave your legs with that. They're much better. I don't think I've honestly ever done that before, but I saw these on sale and I decided to get them. So we'll see about that. Okay. This is the, uh, foot rasp deal that I always talk about. I get a new one of these every couple of months. And if you guys, uh, need like if, or if you have calluses on your heels, this works so good. It works like even better than, uh, going to get a pedicure in my opinion, and you can do it in your own shower. So I got a replacement one of those. So I can toss the other one. Um, I talked to you guys about this cracker barrel smoked provolone. So good. So I got one of these and then I got another Flavor. This is the extra sharp yellow cheddar, so I thought we would try that one too. I got some popcorn. This is my favorite type of microwave popcorn. It's the Pop Secret Homestyle Butter. It does really taste like real butter, so I would recommend that if you're looking for a good microwave popcorn. Um, I got some toothpaste. I got two, uh, sort of a twin pack, one for Kira and one for Connor. This is the Sensodyne Pro Enamel. And then I got a travel one for myself. It sounds like uh, we are probably going to start going back to work slash traveling, uh, maybe end of April, first part of May. So I'm trying to make sure that I have everything <laughs> in order, uh, to do that. I haven't traveled obviously for so long that I need to actually go through all of my like toiletries in my closet and see, um, 
what I need to get. But I knew I needed some toothpaste, so I grabbed that. I did go ahead and get these Systema mini containers. These say they are 4.4 ounce, so about half of a cup. And I don't have any that are this size right now, and I thought they would be a good size for um, like the kids' lunches, maybe to put like, you know, pudding or applesauce or something like that in. I got some hair ties. These are for Kira and I to split. They're actually running really low on hair ties, so I don't know what's up with that, but I'll split these between Kira and I. Um, Connor needed a new comb for his bathroom, so I grabbed this. And then uh, we, <laughs> when Connor got in his uh, unfortunate bike accident, we went through a ton of Band-Aids. He had like a scrape on his elbow, a scrape on his knee, a couple on his hands, one on his arm, and so we went through a bunch of ours, so I ended up getting another replacement of Neosporin. Um, I really like these band-aids. They're actually band-aids that are like the pad is impregnated with Neosporin. So I always try to keep these on hand and I actually usually keep some in my purse. That way if we're out somewhere and one of the kids gets a cut or a scrape, I can put it on that. But I really like these. They are a bit pricey, obviously, but um, I really like them. And then I got some of these larger um, waterproof ones for knees and elbows and then I also got just like a multi-pack of different sizes so got those and then um, he's probably gonna have a little bit of a scar on his upper lip so you guys can let me know have you ever used the Mederma scar cream before I personally never have so I don't know if it's that effective but I would be interested in knowing in the comments below if you think it's effective um, I told him that we would put this on his skin um, just to see if we can, I don't think he's going to have a big scar, but I don't know. It's just something that I wanted to do if I could, <laughs> if I could help him a little bit. And then this is the Olive Garden Italian dressing. We haven't had this in a while. And this is one of the only ways that Kira will eat salad is if I make it with this and Connor really likes it too. So I got that. And then I was excited to find this um, Splenda sweetened caramel sauce. So Adam likes when I make him um, like lattes and stuff in the Nespresso and his favorite type of like latte from like a coffee shop is like a sugar-free caramel one, but I haven't been able to find this syrup and I finally just saw it at my Walmart today. So I'm excited about that. We can use it on ice cream too. So I actually only had a little bit left in the regular caramel syrup I had in the fridge so I went ahead and tossed that and I'll replace it with this and then I did decide to get a couple of these hand soaps I just thought the bottles were really cool um, they are made of recycled aluminum and when you're done with them you can recycle them also so this is hand in hand sustainable suds this one is pink peony and this one is citrus grove so that is all of the things that I got from Walmart besides the Easter stuff that I got Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do tonight is transfer the items in my purse over to this new purse that I got from Teddy Blake. Now, they did send this to me, but I agreed to share it on my channel because I know that their bags are really good quality. They have premium leather bags, and they are definitely a fraction of the price of some of the designer bags that you can find, and they're super good quality. So this is the one that they sent me this time. This is the Eliza I believe is the name of it and it's in the 12 inch and it's more of a bag that you can carry on your shoulder um, which I really like but I wanted to mention also that this is the one that they sent me several years ago and this bag has held up really well I have not carried it for a while but when I first got it I carried it for probably I would say nine months and at this time I was traveling a lot um, and I carried it, you know, in and out of airports and went through security. Um, definitely held up super well. As you can see, the leather is not scratched or scuffed. Um, this particular, you know, model, I guess, is not on their site anymore. But I just wanted to say that their bags are super good quality. If you are looking for a really nice handbag um, that's genuine leather. So, like I said, this is the one that I picked out so I'll link it down below they did give me a coupon code to share with you guys so thank you to them so I'll leave all that information in the description box below it's a $20 off coupon code um, you can use it on items that are not sale items just so you're aware of that um, but I'm gonna transfer everything over and I'll kind of show you guys how it fits but it, can, it comes with this little clutch too which I think is really neat you can kind of like 
put your, what I was thinking too is like if you're traveling, which I know a lot of us aren't traveling right now, but eventually we'll start again. Um, you can kind of put like your ID and your, you know, if you, especially if you're flying, like put your ID, your boarding passes, whatever credit cards and stuff in there. And it's like attached here so that you don't, um, lose it and you can just slip it back in your bag. But I really liked the color of this, uh, because it's got this like kind of, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't want to say yellow. Um, it's sort of like a goldenrod color on the inside. I just thought it was really pretty. All right, so since I'm transferring everything over to a different bag, I decided to kind of take everything out and go through it. So we'll just do a what's in my bag. I don't think I've ever done this in a video before. So here we go. I don't know if I'm going to put these back in there because I don't really use them that often. But these are just like reusable grocery bags. Um, I don't know. Normally I use the ones that I have kind of in the trunk of my car. So I'll probably just not put those back in there for now. Um, I do always now keep some disposable masks in my purse just because there have been several times where I have thought that I've had one with me um, and I didn't or I only had, you know, a used one. And so I just keep those in there for now. Um, hand cream and hand sanitizer. I always keep a selection of like over the counter meds and band-aids. Um, the band-aids have come in handy way more than once when my kids were I mean, even now, but mostly when they were younger, you know, they were out somewhere and they fall and scrape their knee. Um, so I have like a kind of a selection of different sizes of band-aids and this Neosporin spray, you can get this at Walmart and it's super convenient. You can just kind of spray it, um, on the cut before you put the band-aid on. And then like just some like tile, like I keep tiling all my purse, I actually need to refill this, um, a little bit and like some different types of meds so these little like packages of over-the-counter meds I actually got these uh, would have been well over a year ago now when we went to Mexico I when I was packing all of our stuff I wanted to make sure that we took like a variety of over-the-counter meds just in case we needed anything when we were down there and they sell these on Amazon so I got those I have like Pepto, Zantac, uh, Imodium, I don't know. I hardly ever, I hardly ever use any of those. The really the only thing I ever use is the Tylenol, but it's nice to have them when you need them. Cough drops. Um, I have some of these little like portable toothbrushes and floss pick things. Um, this is weird, but I always keep a little tape measure in my purse. There have been times when like I've been out somewhere, like let's say I'm at a store and I want to buy like a bookshelf or a piece of furniture and I want to see like how wide it is and see if it'll fit in my house. This actually comes in really handy. This is just a remote that I um, have for my iPhone if I want to set my phone somewhere and use this to snap a photo. I haven't used that yet. It's fairly new. Um, I keep my pens in my purse in a plastic pouch like this. This, it has happened to me before where I've had a pen leak in my bag and ruin the inside of it, and that is no bueno. So I would definitely recommend keeping your pens in some type of pouch so that doesn't happen. This is a business card holder. Obviously, this is something I use a lot more when I'm traveling, and we're not right now, but if I'm at a conference or something like that, I can um, give out a business card. I keep kind of a variety of different wipes. So these are antibacterial wipes. These are just like regular Kleenex wet wipes. These are just like body wipes. I don't know. I've had these in my purse forever um, and I've never used them. It's just, I don't know. I just keep it in there because you just, you never know, especially when you have kids, you never know. I have some um, chapstick or like lip balm, lip gloss, etc. This is actually a mask chain to kind of put you know on your mask and so you can like wear it around your neck I got this from the Erin Condren box I've never used it yet I do have some white out in case I want to white out something in my planner um, feminine supplies this is actually a couple of little screwdrivers in here so one of these is for my camera in case I have my camera out somewhere and I need to retighten the screen it happens sometimes and then I have a little glasses um, screwdriver in there also this is the case for the my magnetic sunglasses and I don't even know where they're at right now they're probably in my car somewhere um, I have like alcohol wipes and a sting relief pad um, fingernail clippers I need to get some more Kleenex gum 
this is another thing I would obviously recommend the shout wipes and the tide stick I uh, have never not in my life been able to not spill something on myself when I'm wearing a white shirt so <laughs> just kidding but really these come in really handy um, glasses cleaning cloths um, I used to use this a lot more when I was traveling so I could probably take it out of there now but this is actually a set from Grove that has a glass straw in here and um, I noticed when I was traveling frequently several years back that they have stopped giving out straws in some places and sometimes I just like to drink my soda with a straw or my ice water with a straw so I have that in there I've never used this but it's a little kind of card holder um, I imagine this would be nice for travel to I have some extra keys in here and key tags and stuff like that oh and a bottle opener in case you need that uh, post-it notes yeah so that's basically it um, I'm what I like to do is I like to use these little bags that I get from Ipsy to sort of like organize um, the things that are inside my purse so I just I'm not like dumping everything down into the bottom of there and then it gets lost so normally I kind of separate it out by different types of items so like you know, and here maybe I'll put all of like the medications and band-aids and then in here I'll put all of the personal care products. So let me do that and then I'll show you how it turned out. Okay, so everything fit perfectly inside of here. I am deciding to leave out this little clutch right now just because I don't think it's something that I'm going to use like on a daily basis. And then I'm gonna leave out the my business card holder and the straws too and stuff like that just because it's not really something I'm using right now uh, but everything fit perfectly inside of here you can kind of see um, the size of this I really like the size of it like it's large enough to hold all of my stuff yet it's not so large that it's like big and bulky um, but inside you can see that I did also put my planner in here I obviously always carry this with me so this is an a5 ring bound planner so it's pretty large um, I wouldn't necessarily say that these two items coordinate <laughs> the best, but I just got this Notique cover and I really, really love it. So I'm using it right now. I have a black one also, so I can switch over to that if I really want to. But this is a pretty chunky planner, like it's large um, and it fits in there really well. So I ended up putting all of the other stuff into like these little bags and then I have my masks um, and then this is the wallet I have I bought this several years back I can um, link it down below if I can find it it's a Kate Spade um, black wallet and I really like how it matches with the Teddy Blake bag so yeah definitely would recommend this bag or any of their bags really they have a bunch of different ones on their site and I'll continue to update you guys you know as I carry this and um, kind of let you know you know how it's holding up and how I like it you can also kind of tighten this little drawstring on here too I actually kind of like that it doesn't have a zipper um, just because I feel like I'm one of those people that's like constantly reaching into my bag and even when I do have a bag with a zipper I hardly ever zip it up so anyway I just thought I would share this with you guys um, so I'll leave all the links down below but I think that's all I'm actually gonna do for this evening I think I'm probably gonna take a shower here in a little bit maybe get into bed relax read watch some TV so thanks for coming along with me on my day in the life I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow for another video bye